We are on a quest to find the fastest spaceship in the universe. This is Gambin's Run, episode 7, C57D. It's the OG flying saucer. We're doing Forbidden Planet, one of the best science fiction movies of all time. And there's no argument about this. Now, here's a reminder of the path. We go from Earth to Mars, out past Neptune and through the Kuiper Belt to the edge of interstellar space. We traverse the Oort Cloud to exit our solar system and head straight for the Orion Nebula, swinging around to the edge of the Milky Way and out across intergalactic space to reach Andromeda Galaxy. And here is the current leaderboard and the disqualification list. Thankfully, I can already tell you that this ship is not getting disqualified. Honestly, I was watching Forbidden Planet recently for a science review video that I was doing and it was the first time since starting this series and I was so happy when I registered that I could work out a speed for C-57D. Now, in the movie, they go to the planet Altair 4, which is orbiting the very real star Altair. Now, the planet isn't real. We have no confirmed data on Altair having any planets as of yet, but the star is. And Altair is in the Aquila constellation, which is 16.7 light years away. And we know that it has taken them just over a year to get there. Now, at one point, the captain actually says that they haven't had shore leave in 378 days. So we can take it that that's how long they've been traveling. So to travel 16.7 light years in 378 days, you would have to be traveling at about 16.13 times the speed of light. That speed will get you to Mars in 1.5 minutes. It will get you through the Kuiper Belt in 15 minutes and out across interstellar space in one hour, exiting the Oort Cloud in 45 days. Traveling around the Orion Nebula in 93 years, reaching the edge of the Milky Way in 1,674 years, heading out across intergalactic space to reach the Andromeda Galaxy in 154,990 years. You guys, that puts Forbidden Planet in fourth place, which is not freaking bad, right? For a movie made in like the 1950s? Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, uh, but let's pick the next one from the jar. So, um, we have got Event Horizon. <laughs> uh, this comes up a lot, actually. This is requested a lot. Uh, so yeah, Event Horizon. Oh, it's a pity I didn't get this for Halloween. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks for watching. Stay nerdy, you guys. Bye.